Big Nation, this is Coach Coltar coming to you again today. We're going old school, that's right. Chalkboard, you know, iPhone video. Got a little stuff going on at school today, so I got to cool, I got to kill some time this afternoon. So I thought it'd be cool to make a quick video um, to talk to you a little bit about Air Raid Essential Quick Plays. And our first one is going to be the slant, man. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like this kind of content, man, I really appreciate it if you would. Um, you know, we're trying to get to 8,000 subscribers, man. You guys have been amazing over the last four years of the channel, and hopefully you've, uh, you've, you've gotten some, some good information and it's helped you grow as a coach because it's helped me grow as a coach trying to teach this stuff. Um, but like I said, today we're going to talk about slant. It's one of my favorite quick game plays. We've talked about this on, on before on the channel, um, but it's something that's one of the very first plays we put in here at Hopton. Um, and, and it's been a very, very big success for us. And, and so basically what we do is we start from the short side of the field and work to the wide side of the field, okay? And the read is slant, let's say the wide side is that way, it's slant, slant, shoot, okay? And this is a quick pass, you know, we'll, we'll quick pass set that in the vertical. And um, we do have wheels that we can tag on the outside, but that's that's more of a press box call. But basically what we're doing is we're reading the walk area. And those of you guys that have seen our courses and some of our other stuff talking about play calling is we're real big on finding the walk. Where's the overhang guy? What's he doing and how can we manipulate him? And so what we do is we teach our receivers to, to run themselves open, like run the grass. So he's gonna take a three-step slant and he's gonna run in here. And if, you know, if this guy widens, He's going to immediately sit down and grasp. And the quarterback is taught. He's going to catch it fast feet, and he's going to read that grass. If that grass is open, if that guy's head turns and he sees that ear hole, he's going to put that ball right behind his ear hole and know that his receiver is going to get there. Okay? If when he looks there, that grass is not open, he's immediately going to go here and go two to one, two to one, two to one. He's going to read slant, shoot, slant, shoot, slant, shoot. And, and you know, it takes a little bit of time, but, man, once you get practice on this, I mean, it's amazing. I got some great film on the channel and a great film in some of our courses where we talk about slant, and, it, and it's just such a good play for us. So, like I said, what we also teach these guys is, is don't run to your next problem. You know, that's a big key point is don't run to your next problem. All right, so if there is a hole here, sit here, don't run into Mike, okay? Now, we do have a thing where we know we're getting a lot of man, we'll call it lock, which basically says, okay, now you're going to take your best release, usually a diamond release or something of that nature, and you're just going to keep on running, all right? And we do that a lot of times in three by one. Um, in three by one, we do the same thing, except we're going to run a double, a double slant on the strong side, and we'll read slant, slant, shoot we never throw that i don't think we've ever thrown that i mean we have it in there but we never throw it okay so you know out of out of trips three by one we read it like that slant slant shoot a lot of guys are running these slants you know with rpos and things like that but for us you know that's a it's a great seven on seven play for us especially in june um summertime and then you know during the game we run it we run it quite a bit it's it's probably our, our best uh quick game route um, between that and stick, but slant is just something that we've always done and we've always been able to do some explosives because we'll do a slant and go and then we'll do the slant with the wheel. So you got, you have the sluggo concept, you have the wheel concept on there. And so, you know, it's just something that's really quick and for us it's an essential play. So I'm going to do a series here the next couple of weeks on air raid essential plays. And I think if you're going to run an air raid offense, you know, you need to put slant in. It's not a traditional play per se if you go through the Coach Mummy playbook and stuff like that. But at the high school level, it's just an amazing play. And if you learn it this way, you can put it into pretty much any offense you run, man. So, hey, guys, I really appreciate you, uh, you you checking in with me on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Like I said, we're trying to get to 8,000. Drop a like on the video. It helps the, it helps the channel grow so we can reach more coaches. Um, we do have our clinic this weekend, Air Raid, um, How to Air Raid Works, uh, April 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You can go to airraidnation.com to register for that. Use, use uh promo code YouTube for a discount. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you and spin it to win.